Okay, so what we're going to do here is create a new application. Um, just choose a generic application and we'll create a project with um, GSF as the technology. Right. Click finish. Um, now what we want to do is actually add to this project the rich faces components. Um, there are two places where we need to do it. One is actually in the libraries in CLASPA. So you just go over here and you say add jar and navigate to wherever you uh, extracted the rich faces. Um, there's a lib directory under there, under the distribution. You can expand it and just choose all three of the jar files in there. Select and that's this part. Actually click OK. Um, the other place where you might actually want to add it is under the tag libraries. Okay, so you want to actually add the tag libraries. Go in here and say new. Again, navigate to the same directory. Pick the job file in here. Okay, so you get a bunch of other tag libraries. Uh, by the way, one thing you can set on them is execute it design time. So just click each one of them and switch them to execute a design time. Alright, so now you basically have those components in your project. What you still need to do is set something in the web XML. So there's a few settings in here that each faces requires you to do. Just switch to the source view here. Right. And I'm going to switch over to one of the tutorials for which faces, just so I can copy um, this part, which is some settings in the web XML. Go back here and stay over here. You can just paste this piece of code. This is the setting in WebXML. Now you can actually go and say, I want to design a new JSF page. Okay, don't choose any of the ADF faces components because you want to use rich faces in this case. Okay. And you can now actually start to drag and drop stuff from here. So you can go into rich faces and take, for example, a page or panel and just drop it over here. Okay. And inside the page you can drag and drop something else like um, in place input for example. Like that. Now as you arrange things here you can actually also see it in the source code over here. Okay. It's actually been placed outside of the form so we probably want to move it into the form like that. Then you can right click and say reformat like that. Um, <coughs> so you can slowly build your page or you can just copy some uh, other page text from somewhere. So let's just take this thing. Um, take this whole section. Copy it into here. Instead of the panel we created, we'll just bring in this thing. And then collapse code. Okay. Um, you'll still get things like code inside. So if you actually go in here and you type, I'm sorry, rich, right, you get all the code inside for every components that you want and all the properties and stuff like that. So this is still available for you if you need to. And of course, you can still use the visual design. So this is how your page is going to look. And you can move things around in the uh, structure pane, click on them, change properties in the property inspector on the right, etc. Anyway, let's click Save, right click, and say Run. This would actually take the application and deploy it to the integrated WebLogic server. So let's open the log window so we can actually see the deployment being done.
and the page is actually being run get your login page you can click start to fill out whatever you want right 